With their boopable noses and chonky bodies, it's no wonder that there are 90 million dogs in America. What's not to love? But many of us are quite particular with which dogs we choose, often based on traits. So what if you were looking for a powerful doggo? From the massive St. Bernard to the protective German Shepherd, here are 15 of the most powerful dog breeds in the world. Number 15. American Pit Bull Terrier The American Pit Bull Terrier is a beautiful dog, both on the inside and outside. They are loyal, affectionate, obedient, and love to please. They are also intelligent, courageous, amusing, and good-natured. Of course, like most dogs, these tendencies are fostered through calm, confident, and firm ownership. But one thing the American Pit Bull Terrier also is, is powerful. You can tell as much just by looking at them. They have a broad head, a powerful jaw, and a well-defined and muscly neck. Their neck then links up with their thick, well-sprung chest that forms a stocky and muscular dog. Surprisingly, they are also exceptionally agile, even with all that muscle. Get set, go! Many people own these dogs because they are extremely protective of their people and property. They are not naturally aggressive towards people, but firm training is required to see the same traits towards other animals and dogs. At the same time, they are man's best friend. They love children, have a high pain tolerance, and love to roughhouse with their family. Of course, like any dog, you shouldn't leave them unattended with children. 10 out of 10 would adopt. Before we go on, like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Saint Bernard The Saint Bernard is by no means a lap dog. Not unless you want your lap to be squished. They are definitely one of the most powerful breeds in the world, without a doubt. The Saint Bernard breed was thought to have originated in the Swiss Alps as far back as the 11th century. The most likely scenario was that they were used as watchdogs in monasteries, but it wasn't long before their knack for saving lives became known. Centuries later, they were credited with having saved thousands of lives. As if dogs couldn't get any purer, they wanted to keep us alive. They would find travelers who were lost or injured and rescue them. Because this breed can weigh up to 180 pounds and reach heights of over 2 feet, they have also gained a reputation for their strength. They can pull carts and wagons, and some people enter them in weight-pulling competitions. But when they're not busy saving lives and showing off their super strength, they are much-loved family pets. St. Bernard dogs are affectionate, loving, and just a little bit drooly for good measure. Number 13. Mastiff Mastiffs incorporate several different dog breeds and date back to ancient times. They are majestic, huge, and, of course, powerful. They've been used as guardians, hunters, shepherds, and even in war. They can do all these things while also being a loving family pet who likes to protect and love. Every Mastiff breed is different, and they all bring something unique to the table. For example, the American Mastiff can weigh over 200 pounds, and while protective to threats, adore children. Their patience and gentle nature make them a popular family pet. Then there's the Bull Mastiff, a dog breed developed from Bulldogs and English Mastiffs. They can grow up to 130 pounds and use their strength and size to guard their properties rather than any anger or aggression. An English Mastiff is the world's heaviest dog breed. They can weigh up to 220 pounds and are an incredibly calm, loyal, and even-tempered dog. 
However, they were bred with such size and strength initially for encounters with lions, bulls, and bears. One look at any of these mastiff breeds, and you will not deny or doubt their power. Number 12. Rottweiler the Rottweiler is one of the most popular dogs in the United States. And you know what? We get it. Just look at these adorable doggos. They are loyal, have a natural guarding instinct, and just adore their families. But at the same time, they are incredibly powerful and strong when they need to be. When Roman armies traveled to Germany to conquer Europe, they brought early Rottweilers with them. They had to travel with their cattle due to lack of refrigeration for meat products, and the Rottweilers were able to keep the cattle in line. They had the perfect balance of strength and endurance. When the way in which to take livestock to market changed, they weren't really needed for this job. They were on the brink of becoming extinct, but they ended up being an ideal dog in the 20th century for the military and police forces. By the time they were introduced to the United States in 1910, people adored them. Their popularity grew until they ended up being the 10th most popular dog breed in the country. Number 11. The Irish Wolfhound On a scale of 1 to who's a good boy, the Irish Wolfhound would get a solid 11. This dog was first bred as a powerful and resilient hunter for ancient wild elk in Ireland. During the 15th century, Ireland was also having a bit of a problem with wolves, so the Irish Wolfhound took care of them as well. They were so good at their job, though, that they drove the wolf population to the brink of extinction and then found themselves out of a job. As their numbers dwindled, one man made it his objective to make sure people know how crucial it was to keep it alive. British Army Captain George Augustus Graham gathered all the known remaining Irish wolfhounds he could find to stop the line from dying out. As a result, they are still alive and well today, and certainly one of the most powerful dogs. They can grow up to 180 pounds and 3 feet tall, but also have the muscular curves of a greyhound. They are a natural-born athlete who also loves a good cuddle with his loved ones from time to time. Number 10. Rhodesian Ridgeback If your idea of a powerful dog is one that's fast, strong, and athletic, then the Rhodesian Ridgeback will well and truly tick those boxes. This huge, wheaten-colored hound can grow up to 85 pounds with a 10-year lifespan and is classed as an all-purpose renaissance hound. They became popular in native Africa for baying and tracking lions, which goes to show just how powerful they are. But when they aren't busy stalking lions, they are a beautiful family pet that offers a lot of affection towards those they love. They are faithful, protective, and only want to please you in everything they do. In saying that, they are also an independent dog with a strong prey drive and can be a bit of a handful for those who aren't experienced with the breed. Basically, this powerful dog needs an equally as powerful owner. They can still be quite a domineering breed as well, which means they require plenty of training from a young age. Still, if you've got what it takes, this mighty pooch can integrate into family life just nicely. Number 9. Siberian Husky If you think about it, our idea of fun wouldn't be braving the cold and pulling loads over frozen landscapes. But for Siberian Huskies, quite a powerful dog breed, it's what they do for fun. Siberian Huskies are a medium-sized dog that packs a lot of muscle into their small, 60-pound frames. <laughs> They have incredible endurance, a thick coat, and they can pull light loads in the chilly outdoors. But that's not all these dogs are known for. They're also dignified, friendly dogs that are nimble-footed and 
fast. They may be smaller than their cousin, the Alaskan Malamute, but that doesn't make them any less capable or powerful. People also love the Siberian Husky for how well they get on with other dogs and their friendliness. They do chase small animals and need high fencing and a lot of room to run, but they can't help but be an adorable doggo you'll love. What's more, they are the perfect candidate for rally, agility, and obedience training. They get all the social interaction they require, along with their exercise. And they sure do need a lot of exercise. Number 8. Boxer Boxers come from the Bullenbizer breed, a now extinct doggo made up of a Great Dane, Terrier, Mastiff, and Bulldog. They've been around since the 19th century when they were developed in Germany for controlling cattle in slaughterhouses and as butchers' helpers. By the time 1940 rolled around, they had become one of the most popular breeds in the States. And we're not surprised. Even though they were first used as working dogs, and were even one of the first breeds used by police, they are now faithful companions. They are playful, intelligent, and high energy. But they're also loyal and will guard against strangers to the home. This strong, powerful breed is easy to spot as their looks are quite unique. They have a squashed face, droopy eyes, floppy ears, and a lot of energy. Like, a lot. We're not exaggerating. They need at least 40 minutes of exercise every day, and they can be quite destructive when they're bored. So you may not like to leave them alone to their own devices all that often. Still, just look at that smooshy little face. They're definitely hard to stay mad at. Number 7. Newfoundland if you're looking for a lap dog or a handbag dog, then the Newfoundland is definitely not it. This powerful pooch weighs up to 150 pounds and is no small fry at up to 28 inches tall. They are a large, powerful, heavy-boned, and dignified doggo that loves having a job to do. They can be your watchful nanny dog, your faithful companion, or your exercise and play pal. While they are powerful enough for draft work and life saving, they also love going on long walks and hikes. You can even get them involved in rally, tracking, herding, fly ball, dock jumping, and similar. They want to do it all. But when their schedule's not so full, they are a couch friend, too. This fluffy, huge doggo may be powerful, but they can also be gentle, sensitive, and attentive. You could even go so far as to say they are soulful and soft. This dog is just the full package. So powerful as they may be, they are man's best friend for a whole host of other reasons as well. Number 6. German Shepherds German Shepherds are such powerful dogs that it's incredibly important to think long and hard about whether or not you should own one. If you're not the pack leader with your Shepherd, then you may be in a whole lot of trouble. <laughs> This breed is powerful, large, and has exceptional guarding instincts. They need to be socialized from a young age to reduce aggressive behavior, and obedience training is a must as well. They are also quite an active dog, so daily exercise and mental stimulation every day are crucial. Otherwise, they can get up to mischief if you're not around. German Shepherds can grow up to about 25 inches tall and weigh up to 95 pounds. They have a handsome face, muscular back, and a bushy, curving tail. They also tend to get on well with children, but more likely when raised with them. The breed came from Germany and quickly became a military favorite. They were courageous, loyal, strong, and incredibly intelligent. They are one of the most popular dogs in America and are even in the AKC's list of the top 50 breeds. Number 5. Great Dane If you've got a large house and a large wallet, then you can buy a large dog. And what better than a powerful, playful, gentle giant known as the Great Dane? 
This dog breed weighs up to 120 pounds and stands at up to 32 inches high. So they're certainly not a dog you can welcome into your tiny home on wheels. They can be quite drooly dogs, and they require a lot of space due to how large they are. In saying that, they make a beautiful family pet. They get on great with children, and they are moderately playful. What's more, they are affectionate and get on well with most other animals, especially those they are raised with. They can be a little stubborn, which can make training challenging, but perseverance is key. Once you've trained them, you can keep all that power they've got under control. The Great Dane is known as the Apollo of dog breeds, and that's pretty obvious. They have been around for over 400 years and were developed for protecting country estates and hunting wild boar. They still guard homes, but they are definitely more of a family pet now than they used to be. Number 4. Dogo Argentino when you develop a dog for the sole purpose of big game hunting, you just know it's gonna be powerful. And that's the case with the Dogo Argentino, which is a Mastiff breed. This dog was developed from several purebred dogs like the Boxer, Bulldog, Bull Terrier, and Great Dane. They have speed, a great hunting instinct, and obedience. They can be relatively easy to train, but they do need a firm, experienced owner. Because they are an all-around talented dog, they are often used as guide and therapy dogs, police and military dogs, and search and rescue dogs. They require daily exercise and mental stimulation, not to mention supervision. They can get on well with children they grow up with, but they don't particularly like people visiting their home, including children. Because of their size and power, you must always supervise them around kids. When it comes to making sure they're well stimulated, there is a lot you can do with them. You can take them hiking, walking, swimming, and even get them involved in weight pulling and agility sports. It's hard not to like the Dogo Argentino. Number 3. Belgian Malinois The Belgian Malinois is the epitome of man's best friend. This powerful, smart, and loyal doggo wants to be right by you and impress you with everything he does. The breed grows up to around 80 pounds and 26 inches tall, but with plenty of muscle as well. They are strong but not bulky, and they love nothing more than to work alongside you. They are also exceptionally obedient and easy to train not to mention intelligent. In saying that, if you don't provide this dog with plenty of fun things to do and exercise, they can be quite destructive. Therefore, you need to provide the Belgian Malinois with lots of exercise and fun games that will stimulate them and allow them to burn off energy. So if you're into biking, hiking, or running, or any other fast-paced sports and fitness types, this dog is definitely for you. They also do well in obedience courses, herding, agility, and tracking, which is perhaps why they do well in police and military canine units around the world. They may have started life as a herding dog, but their skill set has meant they are a jack of all trades. Number 2. Bulldog Bulldogs are stocky little doggos who can't help but put a smile on your face. They grow up to around 50 pounds, stand at about 15 inches tall, and are all about that couch life. I can relate. They were originally used to drive cattle to the market, but it was soon found that they also made brilliant pets. They love kids, are gentle, and they don't need a lot of exercise. In fact, their favorite exercise is jumping onto the couch for a nap. They don't do all that well in extreme weather, so keeping their environment comfortable is crucial. Still, even though they aren't the most active or hardiest of dogs, they are still pretty powerful. They have unbelievably thick legs, broad shoulders, and even broader chests. They also have a massive square head that's short-muzzled and ridiculously cute. They're not the kind of dog to pick a fight, but they can be resolute and courageous when they want to be. They're also quite protective of their families, but also quite stubborn. 10 out of 10 definitely would adopt. Just you try and stop us. Number 1. 
Doberman Pinscher. Show us a movie where Dobermans aren't guarding the local car wrecking yard. There are no two ways about it. Doberman Pinschers are some of the most powerful dogs. As a result, they are sought after to guard valuable possessions and homes. This breed is also extremely energetic and can become quite irritated if you don't give it the exercise it needs. You also need to socialize them and train them from a very young age to make sure you establish yourself as the pack leader. They aren't the largest dogs, weighing up to 90 pounds and measuring up to 28 inches. Still, that doesn't mean they aren't powerful. They are a working dog with a guardian dog classification, and they are a natural-born family protector. It's also safe to say that Dobermans are people-oriented and can be affectionate and sweet. If raised with children, they also get along just fine with them. In saying that, some Dobermans bond with one person and see others around them as inferior. It was German man Louis Doberman who came up with this breed in the 1800s. As a tax collector, he wanted a fierce dog who could act as his guard as he did his rounds. Because he managed the local dog pound, he had an eye for knowing what he wanted in a breed. It's not known for sure, but it's thought that the Doberman is made up of the Rottweiler, German Shepherd, Great Dane, German Pinscher, Manchester Terrier, and the English Greyhound. You might not be actively seeking out a dog for how powerful it is, but it can be a welcome trait all the same. Who would have thought that dogs could pull wagons and take part in weight pulling competitions? Which of these dogs surprised you the most with its strength? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!